Meghan Markle's mouthpiece admits she is wrong about Archie's title. Meghan Markle has been wrong to suggest Archie should have been given the title of Prince. In her bombshell Oprah interview in March, Meghan said that her son was not made a prince due to a change in protocol and implied the decision was made due to her concerns over how dark his skin would be. But speaking in a new documentary, Discovery Plus's Harry and Meghan, recollections may vary. Meghan and Harry's London-based biographer said that it's royal protocol and Harry should have put her right about what in fact is, is fiction and what is her perceived racist treatment. Is in fact official protocol, whatever shade you are. He added, she was wrong, as was Harry, who would have known better than anyone the protocol. It was said for shock value and to try to show the royal family in a bad light, to try and further their disingenuous comments on the royal family being racist, and to gain more support for themselves. The whole interview was riddled with now proven untruths. They should be utterly ashamed of trying to hoodwink the public around the world with their utter rubbish and forcing others like the Archbishop of Canterbury to put straight their untruths. Indeed, one by one, the accusations they made in the interview have been proven false. She blatantly lied in order to try and bring racism into the situation to gain sympathy for herself. Harry knew perfectly well the score over Archie and titles, yet he chose to help spread the lie and he chose to deliberately spread lies and false accusations about the monarchy. She should publicly apologize to the British people for her lies. Oprah should also be ashamed of allowing these lies to be broadcast to try and lift the profile of her friend. Before that interview, Harry and Meghan could have quietly come back and settled back into royal duties when they realized what they had lost. Now though, no chance they will be accepted. Meanwhile, Omid Scobie also opened the next story. But we also know that there is much more to this story that we don't know about, he said. There is more to the story. The likes of Scobie and Winfrey are actively encouraging Markle in her endless lies. Markle is a delusional narcissist. But what's Scobie and Winfrey's excuse? Here we go again. Part two, because there's more to the story. There is no story. Markle is a self-interested, nasty little pot stirrer who has been found to be disloyal, divisive, and basically a liar. The media really needs to collectively stop reporting on this irrelevant pair. They're not even royal, in my opinion. This woman will always come up with something just to keep her in the news. The news will stop being interested as she loses her relevance, which is daily. Once she has sold the birth of the next child, she will have to start a new relevant game. If the Americans buying into it, then she wins and they lose, starting with her vaccine appearance. What does she know? Is she a doctor? It's a really dumb way to try to convince people. As a royal expert from the UK said, the tell all was designed for the American audience who were less likely to understand the way the British royal family and protocols work. That ignorance is what the creature relied on to create the furor she had always intended. She didn't care about anyone she hurt or any lies she told as she could. Calculating the plan was always to establish herself in American high society using British money and getting publicity any way she could. It is such a transparent ploy. I may only be Joe Public, but even I can see they're trying to reignite interest in the dull couple after all the positive headlines this week about Will and Kate. Go back to the drawing board, as this will not work. We really do not care if there's more to this. The Sussexes had their say, and I think the whole world is sick and tired of the pair of them bleeding. I think that Oprah knew that a lot of the interview wasn't exactly truthful because she kept referring to their truth. Why would she do that unless she already had concerns? People who are saying that Oprah should have challenged the Harkless more during the interview, but it wasn't her job to do that. However, what she was doing, maybe inadvertently, was exposing the pair for what they really are. And we all saw it. 
Meanwhile, Kate Middleton couldn't understand why Harry didn't meet Meghan's dad before the wedding. Well, that's the whole issue right there. Harry did not meet Meghan's father before they got married. That is very odd considering Meghan sang her father's praises on the TIG, wouldn't you agree? You with me so far? Now, I suspect Meghan told Harry some made up nonsense about her father because she was ready to ditch him. He had served his purpose in her life and it was time to jettison him. Narcissists have no time for useless hangers on and that's what her father was to her in the end. He'd paid for her expensive schooling and now it was time to say sayonara. When the poor old sod got all misty-eyed about his daughter's upcoming wedding, he was so proud that he was happy to pose for some paparazzi photographs, showing him getting measured for his suit, reading a book about Britain, and so on. Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, exactly what is the big deal here? Except he played perfectly into Meghan's hands, who was already planning on cutting him loose. Next thing you know, the future King of England is walking Meghan down the aisle, and Harry prefers to the royal family as the family Meghan never had. Excuse me? Had Harry met Meghan's father before the wedding, she would not have been able to also make up lies about him. Remember the family Meghan never had? And she would not have had a future king walking her down the aisle. And this is what Meghan the narcissist wanted. Oh, the idea of her floating down the aisle on the arm of a future king. Dear God, I'm ready to die now. If you can, with a straight face, sit there and tell me that it is acceptable to cut your father out of your life over some paparazzi photographs, I'd like to tell you that there's something missing in your brain. And remember, up to that point, that's all her father did wrong. Good Lord, there are murderers in jail whose children still love them and still visit them. Because despite having killed someone, they still love their father. And Megan cut him off over some ill-advised photographs? Not only is that crazy, but anybody who believes that bullshit story needs their heads read. And back to my news. Look, mate, the former suitcase girl who became Harry's first wife was here for 72 engagements and then cleared off. Didn't like it and she had to do royal duties. Nothing in it for her. Her track record says it all behaved appallingly on tour in Australia to staff and to staff here in England, all the while she was here and then thinks she has the audacity to insult our queen while her beloved husband was in the hospital and other members of the British royal family with an Oprah interview. It's only Dumbo Harry who cannot seem to see the wood for the trees, and he should be utterly ashamed of himself for sitting there and let her do it. She lies so much she can't even keep count on it. Even when there's literal video footage of her saying one thing, she'll deny it because it doesn't fit her current narrative. What an absolute dimwit she is and her hostage too. The fallout from this interview is just so satisfying. She has embarrassed herself in front of the whole world by lying and now she's being rightly called out on it. The bitterness just exudes from her very soul. And to think, I was really happy when she married just Harry. Dreadful woman. And you, do you agree with us? Please tell me your view below in the comment section and we also discuss them together. If you feel so prefer with my video today, remember to like and share it with anyone who needs it at any time you want. Don't forget to subscribe to Kate Middleton and the Queen News YouTube channel to get more videos from our team. Have a nice day and see you in the next video.